Um, Lonzo, what was the difference between last night where you guys were able to come back in the second half and tonight where you just couldn't get over the hump? Uh, it's a lot harder on the road. You know, last night we had a crowd behind us, and um, tonight we let a team get hot on the home court, which is always going to be difficult. And, um, you know, we were right there, but we never really got over you know, the hump. They averaged 93 points a game. Tonight they had 113. What was going on with you guys as a team defensively? Uh, mess up the rotations. Like I said, we let them get hot, uh, especially at the end of that first quarter when they hit those threes. Um, you know, ever since then, you know, we started off playing defense, I thought, pretty well. And then with those threes in the first quarter, kind of killed us. Luke talked about transition, that he likes the opportunities you guys are getting, but he doesn't like the way you're finishing. What's he talking about? We have a lot of turnovers, and um, especially in transition. You know, those those are even double negative because you're supposed to get buckets with those, and, um, you know, it's kind of puts the defense, you know, demoralizes them, especially when you score in transition like that. But, um, you know, we're getting opportunities. We're not converting. How do you clean that up? Just, just make the right play. Make the simple play. I mean, I think we're trying to go for home runs every time when we could just make a pass and do a layup, you know. So um, we just got to execute better. You hadn't played on a court with De'Aaron Fox, who I know you're friendly with since last year, UCLA, Kentucky. What was that like tonight? Oh, it was a lot of fun playing against him. It's always fun. You know, everybody, crowd loves it, you know, all the fans and stuff. So it's good for basketball. But, um, you know, he played great tonight. Those of us who know you know that Thanksgiving at your house may turn out to be a pretty big event. Um, I know you have your brothers and your mom and your dad. Uh, how many people do you expect to see tomorrow at your house? Uh, like 30, 40. The whole family is going to come out. So, um, you know, it's at our house this year. But uh, my grandma's still cooking, so it should be good. All right. So what's your role on Thanksgiving? Do you do, you do anything but eat? No, I just eat. Say what's <laughs> up to everybody. Have a good time. Um, I can't cook at all, so... You know, that's up to my grandma and, you know, my uh, grandfather and my dad. Now, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I, I saw UCLA play. Is Jello around? Is, are all your brothers going to be able to make it this year? This year, uh, yeah, I think we should all be there. Uh, from what I know, you know, who knows what Melo's going to be doing, but uh, he should be there. All right, so you have a four-day break, which is rare in the NBA. Um, what are you going to focus on until you guys get back on the court Monday? I'm um, just cleaning stuff up. You know, we um, I think we're 8-11 and 11 now. You know, we got a few games that we thought we should have won. So, um, definitely got to clean things up and just be ready to go on uh, Monday. Did you and De'Aaron know we, uh, did you guys play against each other in high school or did you just sort of know each other from being elite basketball players? Um, I met him in high school at a, at a camp. We played on the same team at Adidas Nations and then we played again at McDonald's. But um, ever since the Adidas camp, we became friends. What was playing on the same team like? That was a lot of fun, especially in high school. You know, you got two guards like that who like to get up and down and play the same way. So, uh, you know, we had a pretty good team that year. and. Um, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Do you guys keep in touch, like texting each other during the season right now? Um, no, but you know, whenever I see him, you know, definitely say what's up to him and stuff, and it's always good times. But um, he's really busy right now, and I am too. What makes him a unique matchup? Um, first and foremost, like I said, his speed. You know, he's faster than a lot of people, and um, especially when his jump shot gets to go on, he's hard to guard. That alley uh, how hard was that to catch up one hand and throw it down one, all in one motion? Um, I thought it was a pretty good pass. You know, it's kind of hard, especially when you have Willie you know, um, with his athleticism to get the ball over him. But um, it was just a good play. Uh, Luke, what, what did you make of uh, tonight overall? What's your main takeaway? Um, it's tough to win on the road in the NBA, and I think we're still learning that. I thought our guys actually did a really good job as far as being ready on a back-to-back uh, to start the game. We got our stops we needed. Um, we were able to get out and run. We got some really good open looks, and we didn't make them. And then when, you know, Sacramento started getting, hitting some of theirs and made the little run that they went on at the end of the first, uh, it just felt like we kind of fell apart and stopped trusting what we were doing. Uh, didn't play with the same energy defensively, weren't making the same crisp, selfless passes on offense and then for the rest of the night we kind of were just scrambling to to stay within striking distance what did you make of brooke lopez i guess uh, tonight and last night just seemed like he struggled after having the two prior games were pretty good yeah uh he i think he struggled he, he had a couple good looks early and then uh might have taken him out of his rhythm a little bit but i wanted julius i wanted i felt better with the julius uh zebo matchup so, uh, you know, I went to Julius a little early to get to that, to try to speed our game up a little bit. Um, and then again in the second half, so, that could, you know, that could have thrown Brooke off a little bit as far as just his rhythm. Um, but, you know, he'll, he'll get his work in and he'll be ready to go when we get back in, back at it. So you get this rare four-day break uh, now. Uh, how would you evaluate just this opening chunk of the season? They've been great. They've been, they've been, uh, they've been really good. Um, 
competing, the effort, the practicing every single day, um, never giving in. Uh, you know, I get. You know, I, I, I'm very pleased and proud of the of, of our group and uh, and the work that they've put in uh, to this part part of the season. What do you want to accomplish in your four days? I know it'll be only two practice days, but what's, what's the focus? Well, the, the first part of the focus will be getting them uh, rest uh, mentally and physically. We got a lot of young guys that have never done. Uh, done this before, and uh, even guys that did it last year. Your second VI is playing huge minutes. He was coming off the bench for this, you know, the first half of the season last year. So it'll be good for them to physically and mentally be able to to shut it down for a few days. Um, and when we get back, it'll be about cleaning up, uh, cleaning up our shell defense, cleaning up our our screening, cleaning up our boxing out, the, the pretty much the basics of the game that we were doing a really good job of early in the season and we've had a little bit of slippage as the season's gone along. What have your um, feelings been on how you guys do in transition offensively? Um, I love the amount of opportunities we're getting in transition. I do not love the way we finish in transition. Um, and more, you know, the finishing I'm at, there's not so much the finishing, it's the turnovers in transition that, uh, that keep me up late at night. But uh, we asked for the opportunities. Well, you know, when we got, you know, we got to the season, we said, how, what, what can we be really good at? What, what are our strengths? And our youth and our ability to get out and run and a point, having a point guard like Zoe, um, transition basketball is what we wanted to do. So we, we know that there's going to be turnovers. I think our guys are good enough that those numbers should start coming down now. It's been a long enough uh, you know, time that, that we should be a little more, uh, a little more clean in the way we do our transition game. But that'll be something we keep focusing on and uh, addressing.